Hi everyone, I'm Jaren from Singapore Math Tutors. So um, we've just finished the prime factorization and finding HCF orders from the previous episode. Today we're going to look at uh, what are all these different type of numbers and then also uh, standard form calculation um, and also one last thing which is um, how to change from fraction to percentage, all this stuff. Because um, I realized that a lot of people think that's easy and then they actually forgot about it. Like, forgot how to do it before exams. And it always comes out during O level, although it's just one mark, but it's one mark that most students will get it right. And then because it's so easy, a lot of students usually just neglect it and just forget. So, uh, okay, so let's move on to the terms. So all of this uh, is, they're important, okay? Especially what are rational numbers or irrational numbers, okay? Or non-recurring all this, okay? You must know how to identify rational and irrational numbers. And then you must know what are integers, okay? And what are whole numbers. So under whole numbers, you have zero and all the positive numbers only, okay? So under integers, you have um, the whole numbers, 0 to uh, positive numbers, uh, integers. So this is part of the uh, number line, okay? Uh, representation and ordering of numbers on the number line, on the syllabus. So you should be able to know that because a lot of questions they'll ask you, okay, list down the prime numbers uh, or they'll say this number that you're looking for is a prime number or this number is a whole number so you should know exactly what is prime number what is whole number what is rational number uh, all this they're very important terms okay and under real so under real number okay we have all sorts of numbers here okay so we have rational number and irrational number rational numbers are either fractions or integers Okay, so um, I cannot emphasize how important is it to know this. Okay, and then on page 28, we'll just go through this very simple question again because uh, it's something that I see that a lot of students are having problems with um, because they think that it's easy and then they don't practice it or they don't, you know. Yeah, so let's try. Uh, so one percent. So this one. So if hundred. So we we assume the hundred percent is zero point seven three. So therefore one percent is zero point seven three divided by one hundred. Okay, but then we want zero point four percent. So zero point four percent is simply just uh uh zero point seven three over one hundred times. 0 0.4 okay so um this is one and then the next one is how to change a number to um, a number fraction number to percentage yeah okay so um i think some people will mistake it as like just two point something percent okay it, which is not true okay so uh, be very careful about that. Um, so this is what you do. Okay, you take 2, 1 over 40 times 100. So this is done so that you should get. Okay, because uh, one whole is 100%. Okay, we always take one whole as 100%. And then therefore 1 over 40 is uh, 100 divided by 40. Right, 100 divided by 40 will give us 2.5 right then and then that's why we have this okay so uh basically the exam if suddenly you don't know how to do it just maybe just uh think back okay or you know think through keep calm okay because these are always the first few questions in O levels and then if you don't want to do the first question, it's kind of like your confidence is down, right? So it is very important that uh, 
uh, not only you know how to solve those challenging questions, it's also important that you know how to solve the easy ones so that you know, your 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 confidence will be up there, okay, as you do the questions, okay? And they won't be affected. But if, okay, I had a situation, I know quite a few students, like, they get shocked at this kind of easy question, okay, suddenly they can't do it. So what happened is that they, they feel down throughout the whole paper. So please don't feel down towards the whole paper. Just uh, move on. It's just one mark. It's fine. You, know, you still can get your A grade without this one question. But it's good to get it correct. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, standard form. So standard form is something that I want to go through as well because uh, a lot of students have uh, problems with it. Uh, so standard form... Just remember, this is the definition for standard form, meaning that uh, A, if they want your answer in standard form, means that they want to see it in this this format here. And A has to be between A, uh, 1, okay, all the way to 10. And 10 is not included. So 9.9999 is, is included, okay, but not 10. You can't have 10 times like 10 to the power of like 6, okay? No, it doesn't make sense, right? Uh, right. Then n, n must be an integer. It cannot be a fraction. Okay. Uh, okay. So for this question, okay, it's an addition. So you want to add this to this. Okay. So what you do is that you see that the common factor here is ten a, and ten a. So you can take it out. So when you take it out, you left with um, this one point two six. 1.26 and then you're left with 2.7 2.57 and then you left with minus 1 here as well okay right and then this is what you get you 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 find this okay so you get 1.57 from here to here so this is your final answer and then this is in standard form because this is between 1 to 10 and then times 10 to the power of a okay right so um, that's it for now uh, for the next lesson we'll go through inequalities because um, for now the syllabus most of the stuff are quite simple like rounding off and estimation this kind of thing I won't really go through it because you should know it already if not it will be constantly emphasized in uh, your science classes as well so I won't really go through it instead I want to go through on challenging problems for inequalities okay thank you and bye